What's up guys, Hostmaster Sully Gaming 585 here bringing you another awesome video. Today I'm going to teach you how to get your own shiny den in Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you're doing this, I should, well, suggest, um, turn your tech speed to slow, then saving your game. Um, that way it'll be much easier for you, um, yeah, you know, you get the meaning. Okay, and then you want to drop a wishing piece into them, make sure you have loads. As you're about to press yes to save, um, if you're looking for a purple beam, um, it might come up first try, but if it doesn't, a red beam will come up, so close, back out and close your game and reload. Then try again. The wish piece in the den, would you like to save your adventure? Yes. And if it comes up with a red beam, just close your game. And then keep doing it until you get a purple beam, which should look like this. Yes, the good old purple beam. Then set your tech speed back to fast. Then, um, better to save a game again. Not like what I did. <laughs> and then you're going to want to catch the Pokemon that's inside the den. So, don't invite others. Make sure you've got a good Pokemon. So, there's a Golossal Pod here. I'd suggest using Charizard with Max Air Stream or Air Slash. Um, Dynamaxing can be helpful, but if you want, don't want to Dynamax, then okay. So basically, we're just going to want to catch this Golosopod. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we've defeated the Golosopod. Um, just use any ball. It's 100% um, catch rate for non-promoted raids. For promoted raids, um, the rates are different. It's not 100%. We are going to catch the Golosopod. Should be 100% catch rate. So one, two, three, and yes, we caught our Golosopod. First try, because it's 100% catch rate. Make sure you know where the Pokemon is in your box. Next step, go to a Discord server where there are a few seed bots. I'm using Lantern and Shiny Red seed bot. I'm going to be using Smokey's second bot. Um, the command for this uh, for this server will be dollar sign C check all lowercase next to each other. Then when I press the send button, it puts me into a queue and it'll send me a code. The code here is 1073-2836. So we are gonna put that code into our um thingy or however. It will send you the code by the way in a DM, so just um warning about that. And when it says it's searching, um, spam that A button um, and hope you get him in the trade, depending on your net. Um, In-game name is Bot Marley for this bot. So, let's see if we get him. And yes, we did. So I'm going to give him the Golosu Pod we caught earlier. We're gonna, I'm going to be doing a Shiny Shedinja raid um, soon on my stream. Yes, it'll back us out of the trade. Now, if we go back into the server, it'll dispense our seed. And yes, it looks like we've got a good one. 986, not bad for a star shiny. And then what you're going to want to do is basically close your game and reload your game. And if you did everything right, you should be back with the same purple beam that you were running with earlier. So, loading the game. And nice, we did it. By the way, if you want to check all of your IVs in that seed, all you're going to have to do is basically copy the seed, go to the Liani GitHub seed checking website, gives you all the filters, there, etc. I do that sometimes when I go for my square shiny seed, so it's very well recommended. Next, you're going to want to start up a rank battle. Pretty much everyone knows how to do it. Go into Versus. Then click on Battle Stadium. If you're on local communication, you'll be connected to the internet. This may um, affect your rankings, by the way, in Ranked Battle, so just be cautious. Um, yeah, then you're going to want to click on um, Ranked Battles, the one below Casual Battles. This will start up a glitch that will allow you to date skip faster than normal. Take note, going into the raid and press invite others will stop the glitch um, from working. So, the date changed to 23rd of March, I saved it at 19th of March, this will help us, 
This method is the four day reroll method which will help us get our shiny down. So all you have to do is go forward one date using the invite others method. And then do it again and then do one more. And then you go into, well, the fourth Pokemon that you roll into. You press don't invite others and check it to see whether it is shiny or not. Let's see if we did the right thing. So, I think this is our third slot. So, let's see if it worked out perfectly. And we landed on a Dwebble. Let's see if this one is shiny. We're in the raid. Let's see if it's shiny. The only way we're going to tell if it's shiny is if it comes out with the stars or not yep that was not shiny so we backed out the game and we have to reload the game and if you did everything you should be back at advanced zero so there's that shelmet from earlier we're gonna date skip once and then we are going to save our game because then that way we're bringing the shiny frame closer to us repeat um the four to three day roll method it's mainly the three day roll method um they like to call it um so yeah a rank one did we're gonna do one skip and a few and then two other skips and then um check our fourth slot so the fourth slot here should be our shiny frame this should be pretty neat This orbeal looks like it might be shiny. So all you have to do, um, go to Wycom, activate internet. By the way, there's another method to host raids without saving. All you have to do is just get people into the raid, um, press the start battle button, and then you're gonna wanna hold the home menu on your pro controller or Joy-Con. This will, that will come up with should be this or something different but with the sleep mode feature so you're going to want to click on sleep mode as soon as that comes up and then you're going to want to hold the home me home button again and then if you did everything right your game should crash and yep this orbital is shiny which is brilliant it's a star shiny so i'm going to send out my blastoise here by the way, this will not affect the other people's switches. They won't crash either. And if we did everything right, we should be back in the Orb Beetle. And yes, now we are going to back out of our game. And if we did everything right, yes, it was the same Raconid from earlier. Brilliant. To change to Shiny from that Orb Beetle, we have to do the same process, but without the saving bit. So three skips. Um, and the fourth slot onwards should be different. So yeah, the Aquaquinid, the Golosopod. And then it shouldn't have been another Raquinid, or was I wrong? All pre-recorded, by the way. No, it's a Dwebble. So yeah, Araquinid, Golosopod, and Dwebble. And then the orb beetle that you saw earlier, that will no longer be an orb beetle. That will be somewhere else. And it's gonna be a yes, th yes, that's right, a glossopod. Let's see if this one is shiny. Nice one. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you don't miss when I'm going live or uploading a new video. Until next time, stay awesome. Peace!